gentlemen, my next guest tonight is a two-time Tony Award-winning actor, singer, and dancer who now stars in The Music Man on Broadway. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Sutton Foster. <laughs> I gotta take that off before I go home to Evie. She'll be very upset. <laughs> I gotcha. Honey, it was Sutton Foster at show business. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for being on here. I just absolutely, I don't know if you saw what I said on the show after I saw your show a couple weeks ago. Music Man is such a delight. It is absolutely a medicine for the soul, uh, especially in dark times. Right. It is so bright, there's no way not to leave it a little bit happier. I think if everyone in America went and saw it with somebody they didn't like, <laughs> we'd like each other a little bit more. Uh. It is one of the most joyful, most loving, wonderful things I've ever been a part of, especially after these last couple years, and especially now during this time of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. It is um, truly a tonic for the soul and the heart. I love every single moment that I get to do it. I feel so lucky. <laughs> and part of Broadway's Broad reopening. Yes. And the Winter Garden, such a great theater. Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, uh, the last... Um, year and a half, two years, has been uh, devastating to our industry. Mm -hmm. And for theater to be back and to be able to, I mean, there's nothing like performing live. There's mm -hmm. nothing like sharing this, you know, experience with a live audience. Mm -hmm. And and uh, you and Hugh Jackman, he yeah! is fantastic as He's Harold Hill. He's the best. Hill. He's the best. And, uh... <laughs> I, this is a this is a Broadway stage uh, originally, and I have a bunch of rituals I do before I come out here every night. Do you have any rituals before you Actually, do the show? Actually, yeah, Hugh and I do. Um, so he comes to visit uh, in my dressing room, and we have a carpet chat. Where we, I have things to actually sit on, but for some reason we both end up on the floor. Which this is seems, before your before wardrobe. Before the show, yes, yeah, before yeah. the wardrobe, and we have yeah. like coffee and smoothies and stuff. And then we thought that maybe we should start a podcast called. Carpet chat with Hugh and Sutton. That's not sure. that very exciting, but you know, no. maybe tune in and might learn something. Sure. <laughs> about about area rugs. About area else. rugs and now, how tidy they are. This is your first are. time doing Broadway since you became a mom. Yeah. Has that changed? I have how a you five-year-old little human, a little girl. She just turned five this weekend. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had happy, happy birthday. birthday, Emily. Happy birthday. Oh, she's the best. Has yeah. she seen the show? She did. She came. Um, she saw it once before we opened because she wanted. She was invited to opening night, but then she wanted to decide if she liked it enough to come to opening, which she did. And when she came to opening night, I asked my husband, I said, I said, how did she do? How did, did she applaud? Did she, like, respond? Because the response in the theater is incandescent. The it's, audience is on fire. The audience the is going starts, crazy. Yeah. They love it. And he said, oh, well, no, she clapped when you came out and took your bow, but she didn't really clap or anything. And I asked her, I said, you didn't clap? You didn't clap? And she said, well, I need time. <laughs> I need time to, to, to process. I'm not going to conform to the wow. masses and just do what everyone else is doing. So that I is, respect that. That is that is a tough. Yeah. That is a tough critic. T tough. But fair. <laughs> but fair. <laughs> now you you work with a, a ton of incredible young artists in this show. The the town yes, of, of River City. Yes, there's 21 Broadway debuts. That's what I heard. Which what is, is it like to it's see incredible. to be? Because you know you've done so many Broadway shows. Two time Tony Award winner. What's it like to see these young people trod the boards on Broadway for the first time? It's inspired. We have ten year olds to veterans, I should say. But I it is it's remarkable. They are incredible, hardworking full of joy, incredible human beings, and we just, you know, I think Hugh and I both, you know, we, we really, and it, there's something, nothing like working with kids, too. It's like it brings out the best in everybody, mm -hmm. and everyone really wants to be their best self because they want to say, hey, you know, this is how it can be. And so, because <laughs> it isn't do always that way. they advice or anything? They do. One of the girls comes and asks me advice about, like, what she should wear to opening or, you know, representation, and I'm like, I don't know. Well, kid, I don't know. You know, I'm just, I try to like... Who was that for you? Was there somebody of, say, your stature when you were younger that you went to oh, and said, well, hey, I, I want I some had, advice or gave you some good my, advice? I had my high school... My, I had two favorite high school teachers. So my high school drama teacher, Mr. Bodick, who actually passed away recently, but he saw me in every single show, and he was... 
I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without him. And then my high school speech and debate teacher, Mrs. Clark. Is that who this is? Yes, that's who this is. She I actually was wondering came what and the saw story the show. Was. So tell, I'll show the photo after you tell so the story. So she came and saw the show, and she was like, so excited. And then she said, can I meet my crush? And I said, Hugh Jackman. And she goes, yes, I would just love it. And I'm like, well, because of COVID, you know, we're not allowed to have people backstage. But Hugh Jackman walked out of the stage door and, and screamed, Mrs. Harriet Clark. And she screamed like a fangirl. And they took a picture. And so that's Mrs. Clark with, Hugh, with her crush. <laughs> and I came out after to see her. I came out after to see her. And she had already left. <laughs> She's got excellent timing. <laughs> you also, you also, um, you also talk about um, we talked about crocheting the last time you were here and, yeah. and your own craft work and everything. Yeah. Now you've written a book about it called How Crafting Saved My Life. Yes. There you go. There you go. It's a Hooked. <laughs> Hooked. How Crafting Saved My Life. How did crafting save your life, Sutton Foster? Well, it's a collection of essays about different things that I've made throughout my life and sort of what was happening during the time. The baby blanket while I was waiting for my daughter to be born. Um, the, I started cross-stitching. I have, you know, the blanket I was making when I was going through a divorce. So, like, things like that. So there's, there's like sort of... that blanket. <laughs> it was filled with a lot of energy, but um, <laughs> a lot of angst and some tears. But, uh, yeah, so it's sort of... It's, it's a way, it was a way for me to kind of tell my story um, with the things that that will live on, you know, hopefully beyond me. Well, you you seem to mark important moments uh, with with your crafting. I, I, do. I have been told that you are marking this evening. I am. With a craft. You know, being I have no on, idea what this is, but I've been told to ask you about this. Being on your show is a moment for me, and so I made you a little something, a, and I made it while I was in the dressing room at the Music Man. So this is for you. Okay. Yep. So, uh, well, it's it's a toilet paper roll cover. So, so. Oh, oh, hold on. So. It's a mug. It's a mug. It's a crocheted mug. But so. <laughs> toilet paper. So it's handy. Where you know? was this two years ago when I needed to hide my toilet paper? <laughs> Exactly. Oh, so that's you your so emergency much. role. This is lovely. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the, the, the musical, my friends, is The Music Man on Broadway at the Winter Garden Theater. Go see it. Sutton Foster, everybody. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs>